Okay, for this video, I'm going to talk about one of my favorite pieces of software that I use every day on multiple systems. It's called CMuse. It is a console or terminal based music player. Um, it's quick. It's lightweight. It can uh, use very little RAM. It does. It can. does use very little RAM. Um, you can run it on very old systems, very new systems. Well, obviously, if you can run it on old ones, you can run it on new ones. I don't know what I'm saying there. Anyway, so this is the screen that you are um, greeted with when you install it and launch it. And you can install it on Linux or Mac. Um, that's what I've used it with. Uh, I don't know about Windows. You're on your own there. Um, but it's in pretty much every repository for those systems. So uh, we want to get playing with some music here. So I'm going to add some music. Uh, if you notice down here at the command line, we have, um, this is the command line here in the status line. I'll zoom in and show those in the video. Uh, this is like time uh, for your tracks, time left, time, um, time playing, um, your play mode and everything else. And this down here is not part of CMUSE, this is my TMUX. So uh, I can have multiple, I can do things like have multiple terminals open and stuff like that, but we won't be using that for this video. Um, so to add music, we just do uh, type a colon, uh, which puts it in command mode like that, add, and then the path to where your music is, which on my system and probably most Unixy, Linuxy systems is uh, home music and tilde is the shortcut for your home directory on Mac and Linux and BSD. So home slash user slash home username on um, BSD and, and Linux and user username on Mac. So we do that and it brings in all my music pretty quickly. I've already added it. It's cached, but even without it caching, it does it very fast. So this is my collection of MP3s that I have stored locally. I have flax kept on my file server, but we're just going to work with some mp3s here you can scroll up and down using the arrow keys so i'm just using up down uh to tab over to uh other other uh to the to the right hand pane with the with the tracks in it so you just hit tab and it tabs right over um to play a song whoops you just hit enter uh and you can tab back over and that will keep playing it highlights what's playing with the gold there, I'm pointing at the screen like you can see it and you totally cannot. Um, and you can scroll down here and start playing another one and I'll jump down here. Um, another way to find music is to hit the slash key, which I think it's forward slash because it's leaning forward. I cannot remember forward or back. It's a slash that's on the question mark key. I should know that as much time as I spent on the command line. We'll, we'll skip that for now. So slash and you just type typing the name of the thing you're looking for and it finds it even if you misspell it like I just did. So it found the album and it searches album, artist, and, and title of song. So that brings it up here and you can scroll through and start playing. Um, and, and again, just go through and hit enter and play. Uh, if you want to pause the song, you hit C on the keyboard and that pauses and you can see here on the status line the the arrow changes to a pipe when it pauses uh, so it gives you some indication of what state it's in if you have the audio muted because you're making a YouTube video and you don't want to get a copyright strike uh, <clears throat> most of the time you would be able to tell that the program was paused because the music was stopped playing uh, X jumps to the beginning of a song so um, it starts playing um, and C pauses as I just said so uh, this is the basic mode you can also change the volume using the minus and plus keys on either your uh, numeric keypad or the top row on your keyboard where it's like one through nine and then plus or minus uh, changes volumes from within the program pretty handy um, so you can do everything from the you can do everything in this view that you would normally do in a music player um, oh, let me show you this one thing before I forget. Uh, on this side over here, we have the shuffle mode and the play mode. Right now I have it in continuous play, which means that when it finishes one song, it'll jump to the next song. If I want to cut that off for reasons, you can hit shift C and you see that C disappears there in that, in that corner. Um, that means continuous play is off. I leave it on. Uh, you can also cut on shuffle, which just hit S, no shift. And that will shuffle through your library and you can change the mode of that shuffling through using the M key. So you can shuffle all through the library, artist from this library or album within the album in this library. I think I don't really use the shuffle mode that much um, myself, but you might 
want to for reasons uh, anyway uh, the uh, you know good for a party or something but chances are if you're using a terminal based music player probably not into parties that's just personal experience speaking so, um, <clears throat> anyway uh, that's this view so it's got a few other views you've got the uh, if you go on your top row with your numbers this is hitting number one if you hit number two it just gives you a flat list of your songs and number three is your uh, playlists and I made some kind of test playlists here to show you um, the little asterisks the star character means that playlist is selected so your default one is what you start with I've got a radio playlist and uh, a city pop playlist that I have made if you want to delete a playlist you just highlight it and hit delete on your keyboard or can, or shift D either one will do it and you can also delete things from a playlist so I can highlight that I can say shift D and it removes it from a playlist so that's nice and handy the uh, CMUSE can play things from the internet that's what these are are just mp3 streams of some radio stations that I listen to uh, so it can do that which is handy um, if you want to create a playlist we'll create that city pop one again so we'll say create or no PL create city pop because it's not a YouTube video without city pop and then we'll select that playlist so now when we're working in CMUSE we're editing this playlist and you just select a playlist by hitting the space bar so that's all I'm doing here is mousing up and down or excuse me arrowing up and down and hitting the space bar so we'll go back to the first view and we'll find out some city pop because it's not a YouTube video in 2020 without City Pop. Maybe that meme was more 2018 and I'm just now getting on board. Um, so to put something to a playlist, you just select it, have it highlighted in blue, hit hit Y. Um, and it's not City Pop without Plastic Love. So we'll hit Y on that and we'll hit this. Uh, and then we'll go to back to number three and we've added all these songs to this playlist. Fantastic. Now. If you want to move them around, say I wanted that song in a, in a higher position, you hit Shift P, and that moves it up one. If you decide that you want it in a lower position in the playlist, because it plays from a top down um, order, you can hit hit P, lowercase P, and it'll drop it down some. Uh, again, to remove an item, you hit D or Shift uh, Shift. D for capital D or delete key um, and that will allow you uh, to remove things these playlists are persistent they will stay even after you close CMUSE you can also PL export them to a file if you want to back them up and save them to a different computer uh, one other thing I would like to show is adding an mp3 playlist especially since uh, I have deleted that one so I'm going to pop out here to a web browser and grab a link so I'm just out in Firefox. I'm just going to copy link location for this MP3 stream and then pop it in here. And you want to make sure you have the playlist selected. So if you put it in default um, and you do add and you just do a colon add like you would for your for your music. And then you do control shift V to paste in that's that that link. Um, it'll add it there. So, you know, make sure you have the playlist selected that you actually want to work on. So we'll do add and then we'll control shift V again. It's just an HTTP link, nothing special. It goes out to the internet and fetches it. And you can just play these like you normally would um, any other song. And again, you hit C to pause them, et cetera, et cetera. And if I wanted to go out here and delete that from that mistaken link in a uh, playlist that I didn't want it, I would just hit, hit D. Um, you can create, I don't know if there's a limit on playlists. Uh, you know, I just have a few here because I really just use it for the radio station. But um, you can probably create as many as you want, I would think, within reason. You know, probably not millions or something like that. But um, yeah, so this is CMUSE. Uh, this is really like mm, probably... 10% of its functionality, I don't know. Uh, it does a lot of things. Uh, I just use the basics. You can even change the color scheme. So this is a neat parlor trick, I guess. Uh, so if you do color scheme on the on the uh, command line, and you can do tab complete. So you don't even have to know the whole command. You can just type colo and then hit tab and it'll finish it off. And then you can use tab actually to, to cycle through the available color schemes. And these are just the ones that are built in with it. Uh, green mono 88, I think kind of looks like like an old Apple II green phosphor screen. Looks kind of cool, I think. 
Um, God, I hope I was recording. Yes, okay, I am recording. <laughs> so, um, and you can change it back just by doing uh, color scheme default and go back. I use the default one, it looks fine. It works good with my default terminal uh, look here in console and in uh, iTerm on the Mac. So uh, again, CMUSE, uh, I would give it a try. Um, if you like it, let me know. If you don't like it, don't let me know. I don't know. Just do what you want. Um, but I'm going to do some more videos like this on just some programs I use every day. Not necessarily console programs, but um, co programs that are, you know, on my desktop machines and I use them uh, on Linux uh, to get various tasks done. If you like these types of videos, keep watching. If you don't like these types of videos, I guess stop watching. So uh, <laughs> there's millions and millions of hours of content on YouTube. You can certainly find something you like. So again, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.